The Windows 10 tablet mode is a new way that you can use and browse the different files, software, and application that you have on your desktop PC. Now switching to and from tablet mode is very easy, but there are a few things that you should know before you do so. For one, everything is full screen. When you start and open any apps or windows, they will all be full screen mode and your desktop is effectively hidden. By default, the app icons on your taskbar will be hidden. So right now you see my Google Chrome here. By default, this icon will be hidden once I switch to tablet mode. Now, of course, we can change this setting inside of the configuration so that my icons will stay here. And I will show you how to do that in just one moment. Also, the UI elements adapt to be touch friendly. So this way, if you have a touchscreen monitor and you prefer to do that instead of using a keyboard and mouse, then you can switch to tablet mode and begin to use the touch friendly interface. Now, of course, if you switch to tablet mode, your keyboard and mouse will still work if you prefer to use those instead. Okay, so how do we switch to tablet mode? Well, we need to head into our settings. So I'm going to search right here and just type in settings. And we're going to click on the settings here at the top. We are then going to click on system. And then we're going to click on tablet mode. Now from here, we can turn this on or off. And turning it on, obviously, will switch us to tablet mode. Now a few more options that we have here is when I sign in, we can adjust which mode our desktop will automatically use once we turn on our computer. We can automatically switch it to tablet mode. We can automatically have it on desktop mode or we can automatically have it using whatever we used last. We also have the option that when this device automatically switches tablet mode on or off, we have a few permission options that you can choose between. Here on the bottom, hide the app icons on the taskbar in tablet mode. By default, this is going to be on, and this is what I was talking about when I mentioned that these app icons on the taskbar will be hidden when you switch to tablet mode. If you would like them to be visible, then you need to turn this off. Now, once you have these options configured the way that you like, you can go ahead and turn this on and we are going to notice the subtle change in the layout and the interface. So for one, my window became full screen. As I mentioned, every window, every app that you open will now be full screen. If I were to click on my Google Chrome here, we can see that is full screen as well by default. Down here on the bottom left, we have the back button that is very popular on the tablets. And if I click that, it takes me to our full screen start menu that you see here. We have our power options down here. And of course, at the top left, clicking the icon up here, that's going to open up our software, our most used applications. And of course, the file explorer, which we can still use to search for the different files and applications on our computer. If you have a Microsoft Surface tablet, then all of this is very familiar with you. Same as if you have a Windows phone, this will all look very familiar to you. To switch out of tablet mode and back to your regular desktop mode, you can just head back into the settings and turn this back off. And we're going to see that we switch back to our desktop mode. Another way that we can turn this on and off with a click of a button is down here in your taskbar. We can mouse over the notifications menu here. And when we click on that, we're going to have a few options here and on the bottom left, we can see that we have tablet mode and by clicking this again, we get taken right back into our tablet mode. And of course we can always come to the notifications menu here to turn that on and off. And that there is how you switch between tablet mode and desktop mode inside of windows 10.